basically this is a, a week-long tour that we've been doing with the iCarly cast going to various military installations all across the country. Uh, on Monday, we were in Miramar at the Marine base there. Uh, Tuesday, we flew over to New York. Um, yesterday, we went to the Naval Sub Base in Connecticut, which was really, really cool. And uh, today, we're here at um, this Joint Air Force Base which uh, has been awesome so far. I look forward to being able to, to getting to explore a little bit. But basically what we're doing is uh, we're screening an episode of iCarly called I Meet the First Lady. And uh, it's very much dedicated to um, the military families and uh, basically just thanking them and, and being grateful for, uh, for their service to our country. You know, it, it's really hard having a family member being overseas. So this is our way of, of giving back and, and dedicating this to them. Now, part of this episode is Michelle Obama. She made a really great appearance on it. What was it like when she walked into the room? What was the emotions like and feeling? You know, it was really nerve-wracking at first. Um, we just didn't really know what to expect. I mean, all of her aides and, and Secret Service agents came up and talked about how mellow she was and how laid back and everything. But, you know, we... I had to, I felt like, you know, she's she's a dignitary. She has to be, like, poised and collected and everything. But she came out, and first off, everybody had to stand still. You weren't allowed to move, or, you know, the Secret Service would be suspicious of you because you didn't want any furtive movements going on, you know. Um, so we had to stand still. But as she was walking out, she was like, what's up, you guys? You know, so she was just totally chill and, and mellow and laid back, and she set everybody at ease right away. So she was very, very easy to work with. Now, we heard she took part in some random dancing. What was that like? She did, you know... I got to say, I was really impressed with the random dancing. That was the one thing that I thought, you know, sure, she could be really good with her lines and, and all that, and she could be able to commit to that, but very few people are willing to go crazy with the random dancing. And I got to say, she actually did it very impressively. You know, she, she was talking about how, uh, how her girls had taught her some moves so that she wouldn't embarrass herself. And so, like, as soon as she said that, I tried to imagine, like, if they were just all chilling out in the Oval Office, being like, no, Mom, do this, you know. Um which kind of blew my mind a little bit. But uh, she, I guess, took that advice to heart, and she did very, very well. Now, how does it feel knowing that the White House plays your show because of the girls? I know they're big fans. Is that weird? Yeah, it, it, it goes back to, to blowing my mind. I mean, it's, it's so crazy when, when we go up to actors that we respect, and then they know who we are, you know, because they watch it with their kids. So the fact that not only them, but the, the leader of the free world is, is watching our show is a little bit crazy. Now, you guys have gotten to travel a lot because of iCarly. You and Jeanette hosted the KCAs in Australia, and I've heard that this is your first trip to New York. Yes. So what is that like, and where have been your favorite spots to visit? You know, i got to say, as far as favorite spots go, New York has... It's starting to top the list. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to explore very much at all. We've only had a couple hours um, to, go and, to go and see everything. But I had some New York-style pizza, which was important. I walked around Times Square, which was also critical. Um, but traveling is honestly, it's, it's got to be one of the biggest parts of the job, you know, being able to do this. And going to Australia, I think it's a tie between Kids' Choice Australia and the Nickelodeon Family Cruise to Europe. Um, I was able to go with my whole family to that, which was absolutely amazing. Um, out of all the cities that we visited, I had to say Florence was probably uh, my favorite. It was just absolutely beautiful and a really cool fusion of, of uh, modern aspects with really old architecture. So that, that's got to be my favorite thing so far. Now, you guys had Michelle Obama on the show. Who's another guest that you'd like to have on the show that hasn't been on it yet? You know, we were, we were just talking about this on the bus, and uh, I think we all agreed that whenever Carly, well, if and when Carly's dad ever makes an appearance, uh, that it could be played by Jim Carrey. Because he does kind of look like Jerry, you know? So I could, I could sort of see that. And then Carly, you know, doesn't really look like Jim, but she just takes after her mom, you know? So there, there you go. Now, what's coming up next for the iCarly cast? Well, we're going back for another season at the end of the month. Um, so we have no idea what's going to be happening, probably until sometime the week before. Um, so we're, we're very excited about that for the, uh, for the new prospects of what's going to be happening in the new season. But uh, it's very up in the air. We don't even know yet. So wake up the